An amendment filed on the state budget aims to change the rules around when it comes to filing a vacant U.S. Senate seat or filling one, I should say. 22 News State House reporter Jody Reed is live in Boston tonight after speaking with the sponsor of that amendment. Jody. Don, Representative Mindy Dom of Amherst told me that she wants to make sure that whoever fills a vacant U.S. Senate seat is from the same party as the person who left, regardless of what party that is. The issue of filling a vacant seat came to light after the Biden campaign set their sights on Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts. Even though Warren has not officially been tapped to join the Biden administration, lawmakers here on Beacon Hill want to put a policy in place that would ensure that her replacement is a Democrat. And so if voters chose a Democrat to be in the U.S. Senate representing them, I felt it was important to make sure that if they needed to be replaced for whatever reason, that the person they'd be replaced by would be another Democrat. Current law allows the governor to make a temporary appointment to fill a vacancy in the U.S. Senate until a special election can be held. The governor came out and said that he would have vetoed the measure if it reached his desk. However, the amendment did not pass during budget negotiations on Thursday. Now, Rep. Dom did tell me that she might end up filing this as a standalone bill. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.